I'm feeling quite terrified. I grew up with a father who never let you run a deep bath, always had to turn the lights off, there was no food waste, we had yeah, composting and animal like chickens and bees, so I've always been aware about where stuff comes from and what's the effects and where does it go and what's the waste. A couple of months back I read a really severe climate report basically saying that we've kind of run out of time and that we've already reached lots of tipping points and we have about 10 years left of society as we know it. That was really hard for me to read. So I had about two to two or three days of really grieving and thinking, okay, well, what's important to me now? And what do I really want to do with the rest of my time? And if we are gonna go through these societal changes, what do I need to, how do I need to prepare? I got involved back in November. I think this was the first time that there was a group of people speaking my language. Suddenly all these people come out of nowhere. Oh, where have you been in my life? Finding Extinction Rebellion, I suddenly have a home in London and all these people in a city that's so polluted and so consumerist and so capitalist, finding all these people that are trying to fight against it is like incredible. I feel brave, like I've got an army of people that are trying to do what they can as well. and that, doesn't necessarily give me hope, but it gives me strength. If Extinction Rebellion isn't successful and we don't manage to change government policies and critically reduce fossil fuel emissions, then really by you know 2030 we're looking at mass starvation and war so we need to be su successful. Depressing. <laughs> yeah. So at the moment I'm in London uh, working a normal nine to five job uh, supporting businesses and I'm quitting that and moving to Bristol to study a practical sustainable living course. So about how to go off grid and live in community. And yeah, I'll be moving out of my house at the end of this month and into my van will be my permanent home. Cooker for cooking. And yeah, pump, pumping sinks, all working. So there's lots of storage space and I can have guests for dinner. So I've even got a little bedside, bedside light. <laughs> this was like, oh God. I have to do something big because um, we're doomed and yeah this is this was the choice <laughs> but no I'm, I'm so I've never felt so sure about anything it's like my choice I've so like oh I really should do this I should do that I should get a job I should like have a house and now I feel like no why should I do that I mean, I think it will be a challenge and I think living on the streets, I will, in winter it'll be cold and I'll find it difficult, but I think it's going to be really liberating. Extinction Rebellion has really helped me to let go of guilt in that I don't feel solely responsible and my actions aren't everything and um, the picture is so much bigger, so I'll do what I can, but I also know that I don't need to break my back over it and kind of make my life so difficult. If nothing changes on a governmental level, I might as well enjoy the time that I have. The way community comes together and the way people come together and the idea of business as usual stopping and everyone having to change and what that might look like, as ugly as it could be, also is quite exciting. It could be incredible. <laughs>